Hi everyone, and welcome back to our guide to help you manage your banking. My name is Laura, and today I will be taking you through part two, where we will talk about making payments from your account. Our video today is being interpreted by Jennifer. When you first open your current account, the bank will send you a debit card by post. A debit card is also known as an ATM card and this allows you to take money from your account. A few days later, the bank will post you a PIN number. This is a secret number that lets you take money from your debit card. It is really important that you never share this number with anyone. You can pay for things once you get your debit card and PIN. I will go through this in more detail later in the video. Another thing you can do with your debit card and PIN is take cash from an ATM machine once there is money in your account. First, you put your card into the machine. The ATM will then prompt you to enter your PIN number. Be careful not to let anyone see the numbers you are pressing. Always cover your hand. A message will then appear on the screen asking you how much cash you would like to take out. When you are finished the transaction, be careful to take your time and make sure that your card and cash are put away safely before moving on. ATMs can be found in banks, supermarkets, train stations and many other places. A debit card also lets you pay for things in shops once there is money in your account. The shop person will point you to a small machine. They will then ask you to gently touch your card on the face of the machine. This allows the shop person to take the money directly from your account. Sometimes the shop person will ask you to insert your card into the machine. They will then ask you to enter your PIN number, but remember to always keep it safe and use your hand to cover the screen. Remember, the money comes out of your account when you use your debit card, so if there is no money in your account, the sale will not go through. Now we will look at different ways you can pay bills with your current account. The first option is to pay at your post office or your bank. You can tell them that you would like to pay the bill with your debit card. Then it is the same as using it in the shop. You just insert your card and your PIN number and it will go through. Another option is to have your bill paid directly from your account. A direct debit is the easiest way to do this. With a direct debit, you allow a company to take the money directly from your account. Just tell them you would like to pay by direct debit. Again, the money must be in your account to allow the transaction to go through. Another option you have with your current account is to make regular payments from your account for things like rent or savings. This is called a standing order. A standing order moves the money from your account without having to go to the bank each month. Your bank can help you set up a standing order. Just ask when you visit your local branch. You can also stop a standing order anytime by visiting your local branch and speaking to a staff member. Just to recap, you can make payments a number of different ways. Number one, paying for things in the shop with your debit card. Number two, paying your bills at the post office or bank using your debit card. Number three, setting up a direct debit to pay your bills automatically. And number four, setting up a standing order to make regular payments from your current account, for example, your rent. 
The most important thing is that you keep your money safe. Be sure to check your bank statements when you get them to make sure everything on them is correct. Never share your PIN number with anyone and always remember to keep your debit card in a safe place. And remember, if you are unsure about anything, you can phone your bank or call into your local branch and speak to a staff member who will be happy to help you. That's it for part two of our guide, where we covered how to make payments from your account. We hope you found this video helpful and hope that you will join us again for part three, where we will give you tips on how to keep your money safe. Thank you.